So for this problem, we're given a uh, ammunition uh, sitting on the end of a steel cable. Uh, we're given some data and we're asked to find the strain, stress, and weight of ammunition. So it gives us the diameter of the cable, the length of the cable, uh, and the initial length of the cable. It also tells us that we're using ASTM A514 uh, steel cable. So if we look at the table uh, given on this example problem, if we look at that, we can see that ASTM A514 steel has a Young's modulus of 29.0 times 10 to the sixth PSI. 29.0 times 10 to the sixth PSI. So this is just a uh, example of how you may have to use tables and given data uh, for problems in this class. So that's all of our given information. We want stress, we want strain, and we want the weight. So we'll start out with finding the strain because we're given the most data for that. So strain is equal to change in length divided by initial length, which is also final length minus initial length over initial length. So 100.09 feet minus 100 feet all over 100 feet gives us a strain of 0 0.0009, three zeros. All right, uh, so next up, we know that Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain. So that's the definition of it inside the elastic region. So we can rearrange that to say that stress is equal to Young's modulus times strain, or in this case, 29.0 times 10 to the sixth PSI times 0 0.0009. Uh, plug that into our calculator and we get 26,100 PSI for the stress. All right, so then uh, the last thing is we know that that weight is being pulled down by gravity, right? Some gravity, force of gravity pulling down on the weight. So the cable is experiencing uh, that same weight pulling on it. So that's the force that's actually causing our cable to stretch, right? So stress is equal to force divided by area. Therefore, if we want to find that force, which is the same thing as saying find the weight that's pulling on the cable, that's equal to the stress times the area. So that's going to be the stress of 26,100 pounds per, ah, that got really ugly, pounds per inch squared times the area. Again, it's a circle, so area can is pi times diameter squared over four. So that's times pi times 0 0.76 inches squared all over four. Inches cancels inches, and we're left with just 11,840 pounds. All right, so that is our weight. So now we have the weight, we have the stress, and we have the strain in the cable. And that's it.